what's up youtube and all my baby babies it's your girl we're secrets coming at you with another video and in today's video we're going to be doing some simple nail prepping and also laying your acrylic so for today we're going to need your liquid monomer hydration primer preferably clear acrylic powder also some tips you can get this from your local beauty supply store if they have them a file your glue your brush and also some nail clippers so in the first step you want to make sure like right here you see the shine you don't want this to be like this because if you try to lay your acrylic or glue your nails your nails are not going to last they're going to pop off so what we want to do is get this shine off so simply you can just take this go like this and get this shine off of here so just take the file or you can take like maybe use the e-file but so it's easier just to use a file and you just want to get that shine off of there and you're going to do this for all four nails you see so you want them to look all like that so we're just going to do that you know, don't be afraid to get up in there. You know, we want that shine off. See, Big Sugar ain't acting right today. Come on now, work with me. And with these practice hands, sometimes the fingers can get a little loose or fall off. All you gotta do is just pop them back into place and you'll be fine. Remember, we don't want to see a lot of shine because that's how we build our foundation. And I'm using 88 grit, sorry, 8280 grit. Um, you can use any type of nail file, just whichever one you're comfortable with. So when they're done, they look like this. And then next, you want to take your clippers and clip them down some. So right here. And then you just want to file these down a little bit also so they're not as rugged. <laughs> see I have longer nails so I have to find different ways to position the hand to make sure that I'm you know filing it to a nice length it doesn't have to be perfect and then once again this is just a way that I do nails and disclaimer I'm not a licensed nail tech you know I do my own nails so this is how I prep my nails to each to their own you know everybody do their own prepping ways with these are just mine so you want to get them like short like this so when your nails is like this I like to go in with the hydration and just put it over the entire nail. One coat is good enough. So 
so just that. I'll just let that dry for a minute. And usually when you're putting these on human nails, this would have been dried, but since this is a practice nail, it might take a few moments just to dry. And realistically, this would have been dry already. So next, you would take your tips. And you want to make sure you size them correctly. If they're too big or too small, you're going to have issues that are going to become a problem. They might either A, split right there in that area. Or they might just pop off and not, you know, stay on. So just make sure you're sizing them correctly. So for an example... Like you see this one, it's too big because on the edges it's hanging off. So you don't want that size. You want one that's just right. This one is just about right. So we're going to take our glue and since we're only using the tip which you always want to just apply to the tip part of the nail you're just going to add just enough glue not too much not too little but just enough not sure if you can see that excuse my nails guys I need to fill in <laughs> but just enough glue and then you just want to add them right there to the tip part and remember this is just practice practice makes perfect so you just want to get the concept down. And we're going to do that to each nail. You want to make sure it's stick. Don't feel bad if it pops off. Just, you know, get another nail, do the same step. go and we're just going to do some basic ones so if you have either some scissors some clippers or nail trimmers you can use these and we're just going to trim them down so right there And 
you may have to go back just to make sure that they're even. And then it's best to try to follow them to get your shape while they're like this before you add acrylic because it might be a little harder. So you just want to Make it so that it's fitting the nail properly and hugging the sides. And then you want to do this to each nail. And remember, we're not trying to get it perfect, but we're trying to get it to decent as possible. So when we lay the acrylic, we don't have to do that much. And then you can see right here, like when you foul too much, then you have to just go back and, you know, fix it. But that's okay. That's what we're practicing for. see you know just clip that back on and push it back So then if you want to go back to, you know, kind of shape them up, that's fine. And then now you want to blend your nail with the tip because you don't want to be able to spot where one begins where it ends so you want it to kind of blend in so basically you just take this and just uh oh you don't do that <laughs> But you can also use the e-file, but it's just better because you have more control to just blend it like this. And then you see eventually that line right here will just eventually disappear. Make sure you do have good lighting so you can be able to see and critique your work. So we're just going to file the rest of these. What's left? Just trying to make that line less possible, you know, less visible as possible. What I'm trying to say, you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, just move the hand back and forth, you know, try to catch the lighting.
So you want to get them like that. Take your little duster if you have one. Just dust it. And you can take your file just to get some of the little scragglers off. If you don't want this to catch on to stuff. Get those off. little scragglers so there you go and then you want to take your primer and you want to place the primer where you lay the tip and also the natural nails you don't want to get it on the skin because that's not what this is for so you just want to apply it to here so to here right here and you want to let that dry and while that's drying we could you know get our stuff ready for the acrylic so this is what I prefer to use which is Mia Secret um, whatever one you're comfortable with would do the job um, I have also my Mia Secret monomer because I like to stay within the same brand so I got that over here um, just a simple brush it just really depends on how comfortable you are sometimes you can start with a square brush or the oval kind it just really depends i know i started with square because it feels like you have more control of the product and placing the product so it just takes practice whatever your preference is um, so you just want to dip your brush to get it loose especially if it's either you know if you use it quite some time or if it's a new one because it's kind of stiff so you just want to you know get it loose in the monomer okay. now when it comes to your monomer versus the powder ratio it's more like a hit or miss it comes with practice you don't want the bead to be too wet because your product will run off the nail and it won't stick and you'll find yourself wasting more product than you are actually putting on the nail so for example when you take this out of the monomer you want to make sure that you know you kind of hit the sides because you don't want it to have too much product because if you have too much product on it and you just go like this It looks like a good bead, but it's not. So you just want to go to the sides. I'm not going to say do the one, two, three ball method, whatever one you're comfortable with, with laying acrylic. It's not a race. It's just getting comfortable with it and laying the product and making sure the product is laid right. So we're going to start with the pinky first, as a matter of fact. We'll start with this one first because this one's still drying. Okay, so you're going to take a dry bead and you want to start at your apex. You want to make sure you get that underway as far as being strong. Because if you notice, a lot of times when you hit your nail, which I've had it happen all the time, it usually crack down here and below. So you wanna make sure this part, which is your, basically, that's the strong part. You wanna make sure that this is, you know, sturdy. Cause that's the first place where the nail is just like, uh-uh, gotta go. So you just wanna build your apex. Remember, no rush. 
and you drag it down. Everybody likes their acrylic differently. Me, personally, since I wear my nails long, I like my acrylic thick. Because I'm always doing something and I don't want these things to break because it's painful. So it just depends on, you know, some people like thin acrylic, some people like thick acrylic. So, whatever your preference is. But to me, the thicker the better. Because, you know, if you do hit your nail, then you'll look down and your nail will still be in place. Remember, we want our beads to look, you know, gripping the brush. Then when you get down here to the cuticle part, you don't want to put it all the way down in the cuticle part. You want to get it to the cuticle part as far as possible without actually getting it on the cuticle because that's where your lifting will come because you'll have it either too much or over so you want to make sure you get it right to the cuticle line but just enough and remember we're still practicing so you know practice makes perfect and you just brush it down. You know, look at it side to side. You know, if there's any places you need to touch up on or any places where you see that the acrylic has ran over because it happens to all of us. Sometimes the acrylic, you think, you know, one thing and it's doing another thing. So, you know, just move it side to side to make sure that the acrylic is in place. And you also want to make sure that this side is smooth because sometimes it'll look nice at this view. But when you look like this, it'll look bumpy. So we want everything to look uniform. And anything that we do mess up, we can always go back and fix it, buff it out, file it out, you know, e-file it out, whatever the case may be. But we want to try to do more right now and less later because that'll be the less work you'll have to do and like for those of you who are trying to build your speed like me you know this is where you want to make sure everything is good because then you don't have to go back and fix anything So that's that. Now we're going to let that dry. Um, but next we'll do the pinky. And remember, we're building that apex right here. Remember, everybody's going to lay their acrylic differently. So just take your time. There's no rush. Remember, we're moving it around. Making sure we don't have any product on the skin or anything that rolled under the knee. Cause you, I mean, the knee. <laughs> the nail, because you know, sometimes you'll get those globs. And you're like, where did that come from? It didn't snuck and crept underneath. So, you know, we're going to just, you know, look around. Do a clean sweep through. Keep moving it around.
remember we're building that apex we want it strong because we want these nails to last remember when we get to that cuticle not all the way near but just enough drag it down also make sure you're cleaning your brush because if you don't the acrylic will get stuck in the brush and it'll become a little bit harder to manage using the brush remember we're just looking checking and don't feel alarmed if you feel like oh my gosh my nails they're losing its shape at first it was small now they're getting chunkier that's fine that's what we're going to go back with that file and clean them up so first we just want to lay the acrylic okay so so far we got these nails done we'll let them dry and with me a secret the dry like what dry <laughs> where it's pretty fast like there's no really wait time so it's like once you lay that acrylic you know you can take your time get it molded but the dry time is pretty fast so I never had a problem with Mia Secret products in the dry time remember no matter if you're using the small bead big bead we're building the apex So guys, don't be afraid to, you know, get into the comments, you know, leave comments, ask me questions, or if there's anything you guys want me to make a video about, feel free, you know, I'm open to everything, so, you know, ask me questions. Even though I'm a self-taught nail tech, you know, I'm still learning too, you know, if there's anything that you can teach me, hey, we can teach each other, so, you know, feel free. Get me another paper towel. Use that right there. So, so far. You'll see me doing this a lot because I like to have it smooth. And this is a nail I found too, too, too much. But you can always fix that. It comes with the nail territory. <laughs> so 
some like cases where you probably fouled a little bit too much you know it's not the end of the world you know the longer you do nails you know you'll become more comfortable with you know little type of techniques and stuff or ways to fix stuff it just comes with time Do not get discouraged. We're in this together. Just take some acrylic, you know, try to match it up with the part that was filed a little bit too much. And then, you know, remember you're controlling the brush don't let the brush control you you just drag it you know and once you get sorry guys my camera had cut off but once you get done and you say like oh you know don't feel you know feel bad go back add acrylic you know fix anything that you need to fix so we're going to let this one dry so you know So then you want to go back in and you know use your file depending on which shape we're just going for something simple and square but you know you just want to go back over your shape you know some people like them sharp some people don't You gotta love these things, right? I don't know why this thing keeps coming loose. But yeah, you just wanna go over your shape. shape you're going for what look you're going for just go over your shape any imperfections you may see this is a chance to fix them before you get started into you know designing polishing you know you want to make sure your nails look how you want them to look before you get to the finished product because by that time you can't go back <laughs> I don't know why this keep popping off these things are so weird okay there we go And with 80 to 80 grit, you don't have to do that much filing because it it does it for you. Remember, the lower the grit, the better, in my opinion. You know, it's less downtime with filing and things like that. So yeah. And 
that one's still a little wet, but and then you could take like your buffer and then just go over the nails or you can use your drill and just you know just buff them out a little bit you know fill them make sure you don't feel any lumps or bumps if you do, you know, just go over it, but you don't want to go over it too much because then you might start shaving the acrylic off and that's what we don't want. So, you know, if it feels smooth, looks smooth, then, you know, okay, next, <laughs> go to the next one. side you know you see no lumps or bumps that's good and if you do don't get discouraged just you know redo the steps that you need to do to get that smoothness because that's what we want we want it to be smooth because then when you polish the nails you don't see it because when you polish the nails that's when you can see the imperfections and that's what we don't want smoothness remember turn to the side feel smooth it doesn't feel lumpy or bumpy um, I think this one's about dry and just in case your acrylic's not dry it will let you know because it will start to feel like it's peeling and that's okay, that just means, you know, maybe if you have to put like a thin layer on or just let it continue to dry for a couple more seconds or a minute, you know, just let it do that and it'll be fine. Don't be like, oh, I got some bad acrylic. Like, no, nah. <laughs> that's not always the case. You just need to let it dry some more. You'll get that around the cuticles, you know, the stuff will peel off. But, oops, sorry guys. But yeah. Remember, we're not going for perfection. We're practicing because that makes us better nail techs. And there you go. Simple nail prep and acrylic. So guys, you know, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share the video, you know, give me some feedback. I'm open to feedback. I love it. Whether it's negative, positive, give it to me. I can handle it. So yeah, here we go. And guys, let me know what you want to see for the next video. Uh, we can do some design, some shaping. Just let me know. But once again, thank you for coming to my channel. And just thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.